Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are at the 2024 PRI show. We're in the Fleece Performance booth. I'm joined by Greg Alberella. He's the owner of Wrenchworks. And behind us here is his compound turbo 67 Cummins, and it's our diesel of the week. Engine Builders Diesel of the Week is sponsored by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Thanks Greg. for having me. Yeah, pleasure, man. Appreciate it. You know, we've seen you at a couple of UCC events over the years, yep. and uh, you know, we certainly recognize the Wrenchworks name, but yep. uh, you know, I haven't gotten a chance to catch up with you yep. until now, so I'm glad yep. we, could, we could do it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we saw the car or the truck here, I should say, uh, in the police booth, and yeah. wanted to know a little bit more about it. Yeah. So if you would, you know. Just give us some history on the truck itself, yeah. you know, how long have you had it, and yeah. then we'll get into the Cummins. So yeah, cool story. Uh, this is actually the first ever diesel truck that I ever had uh, back when I was 19. Uh, first diesel truck that I bought, and it's gone through uh, obviously quite the transformation, uh, quite a few engines, quite a few transmissions, but yeah, I've had I the truck for 17-ish uh, years. Oh, wow. um, but yeah, this is kind of like my my baby. This is uh, you know the truck that'll that'll never go anywhere, but it's turned into quite the quite the radical machine over the years into kind of like what you what you see here now. So, you know, let's get into some of the six seven Cummins details for us. Yep. Obviously, you know, police helped you uh, yep. with with the engine there. Yep. Uh, but walk us through what you got. Yeah. So, uh, you know, my main guys, Fleece and Freedom Racing Engines, uh, they've been with me since day one with uh, kind of all of my builds and, and definitely specifically this one here. So uh, this is kind of like the power plant that we've been using for the last uh, year or two, competing with with it with uh, Ultimate Callout Challenge. It's a it's a six seven based Cummins engine um, that still has coolant in it, okay. um, but is uh, is the platform that uh, Freedom has kind of has a come up come up with for us so uh it's been it's been a great engine uh very successful uh recently this year uh dynoed 3337 horsepower wow. uh so it's awesome. a mouthful but that's yeah. uh it's been our highest horsepower from this last year uh but it's uh it's quite the machine hey you get over 3,000 horsepower and that, yeah. that deserves some respect for yeah sure. that's awesome uh, this year this year specifically it's been over 3,000 i believe four or five times on various different dynos my own dyno so wow. um it's a uh, not a one-hit wonder kind of thing, but it's done it done it quite a few times. Greg, when you're talking about the history of the truck, you mentioned that it's had a number of different power plants in mm -hmm. it. You know, talk about what you had maybe two engines ago and, and how this is yeah. kind of on the step up. Yeah, I think it's really just the evolution, you know, 17 years of, of kind of like progression in the diesel industry is, is huge yeah. and massive. Uh, and engine performance has come a super long way uh, from when guys were starting to put sleeves in engines, uh, wet uh, circulating coolant, so to say, because it was a, it was a street truck theme uh, for, for a long time and you know between sleeves and deck plates and stuff like that and as power levels and turbos and fuel it kind of like uh you know used to be a thousand horsepower was right. crazy right and then it went to 1500 well now everybody wants 2000 and you know now the bar just keeps getting raised so obviously engine platforms have continued to be improved on and that's kind of like the evolution of you know you're testing the limits yep. every time you try to push the horsepower limit so uh that's kind of where we're at in, yeah. in this day and age, I guess, 2024, 2025. So you got the compound turbo set yep. up on here. Uh, specifically, what size turbos are you running? Uh, so it's a Garrett 88 millimeter on the manifold. It's flipped okay. backwards. So a lot of times, you, got, you know, you come in here, you just see the big massive grimer, right. but uh, it does have a Garrett 88 millimeter on the uh, on the manifold, uh, and it's a four and three quarter inch Weimer okay. on uh, on the atmosphere. So awesome. it's a it's a it's a big boy out front. But yeah. this is uh, what we've been kind of stuck with uh, or sticking with for the last uh, last few years. Yeah, yeah, very good. And and how much boost are you running? Uh, I guess it might change depending if you're drag racing or doing a dyno pull. Yep. But it's 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 definitely varied de depending on how tuning has kind of been set up in the truck and we've been playing with some wastegate stuff like that uh but i believe when we made the 33 37 run it was somewhere in the neighborhood of like 120 ish pounds but oh, nice. it has seen upwards of 
170 ish before uh you know with some different changes so, mm -hmm. do you know some of the components that are inside the 6.7 it's kind of like their recipe it's their cylinder head um i believe they have their own uh diamond piston set that they kind of run um they kind of like select everything and kind of use their own recipe and i don't really like get involved with trying to, yeah. to mess up the cook's recipe it's kind of like hey these are the strongest components that they want to run they want to use and and i don't really question it yeah. and you know, we get them back, we get them dyno tested. Chase and John are awesome to deal with. And, uh, you know, whatever they see fit with strength and what we're doing, uh, I kind of just let them let them run the show and it's, yeah. been, it's yeah. been great. Greg, anything else that we're leaving out about maybe the truck itself or yeah. anything else in the end? Yeah, I think the latest revision on the truck that's kind of like really pushed the truck uh, this year specifically is the truck went over under kind of like a over a massive overhaul with uh, the guys next door over at uh, s, s Diesel Motorsport. We have basically torn the entire wiring out of the entire truck. Uh, it's got a full Motec system. Uh, s, s has also been a huge part of all the fueling side of things. So it's completely s, &S top to bottom along with all of the MoTeC wiring and uh, the, the engine control and management electronic side of things. So yeah. they've been huge. Uh, Amsoil has been with me for a super, super long time. It's got Amsoil fluids throughout top to bottom. Oh, excellent, um, excellent. So uh, those those four are my main guys. And, and what kind of weight Amsoil are you running depending on? It's their competition the okay. diesel uh, oil that we run in it. You know, we run their yeah. break-in stuff as well with the new engines and then we switch to their, their competition diesel oil as well. So, excellent, Yep. very cool. Greg, lastly, you know, we're here at the tail end of 24, looking into 25. Yep. Uh, you know, you, you do a lot with this truck. So what, what are kind of the plans for next year? Uh, again, UCC is kind of like uh, the main the main event. It's it's still based around like a do all. Uh, we're definitely going to hit the dyno again hard and try to improve on that 33, 37 uh, horsepower number range. Uh, again, go back to UCC uh, plans for next year. Uh, we're, we're kind of kind of pushing the limits of the cast block uh area so yeah. we're going to be switching over to a fleece billet engine uh next right. year to kind of continue pushing the horsepower we'll have to do one of these again in yeah. 25 then. absolutely man appreciate awesome. it well cool. greg appreciate the time thank you very much awesome truck awesome comments thank you and we appreciate it awesome guys that's been this episode of diesel of the week make sure you're checking out everything that greg has going on at wrenchworks and the guys here at police and freedom have going on as well as always make sure you're also checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.